and I look like the 70s. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> What's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? I am Chief Running Mouth. And I'm Captain Genway. And today we're talking about Christmas. Christmas! Christmas! <laughs> um, we wanted to spend this vlog talking about our first Christmas together. This was not our first Christmas together this year, mm -hmm. but it was our first Christmas alone mm. together. Uh, we didn't go visit my family, which we've done every year mm -hmm. since 2016. Even before actually. we were together. Yeah, before we were dating, uh, he came. He didn't have anyone to spend Christmas with because he didn't have the money to go up to Ohio to see his mm -hmm. family. And so we were besties at mm -hmm. this point. And I was like, why don't you come down and spend Christmas with my family? Mm -hmm. And I had known her family for a while from noise yeah. complaint. So they were, they were mom and dad to me forever. So. Yeah. So it was, it was a no brainer. Like mm -hmm. come down and spend Christmas with me. Mm -hmm. And he did. And it was fun. Mm -hmm. But you know, so this, but this was our first Christmas alone. Like mm -hmm. no one was in this house last night except for us. Mm -hmm and the cats and that's never happened before we always i off this is my first christmas in my entire life that i spent away from my family minus that one time i was in israel on a trip i think so. that i think that passes though. i think so too <laughs> i think so too and oh that was a fun trip that mm. i could talk about in another vlog <laughs> but um yeah we wanted to talk to you guys about how it was interesting to be alone for christmas mm -hmm. with each other and what we did and how we tried to make the best of it and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, um, just to explain, we didn't go anywhere because we recently had a couple of exposure scares to COVID mm -hmm. and with all the holiday travel, you know, everyone's saying like, it's not safe to travel. It's not safe to travel. And I heard the most, the most like heart pinching statement and it was, you know, it may not be great to miss out on Christmas with your family this year, but imagine never having Christmas with your family again. And I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't risk it, you know? So we decided that we couldn't visit either of our families for Christmas because on both sides, mm -hmm. it's high risk situations like crazy. So mm -hmm. we decided we were going to do the responsible yet not as fun thing Yeah. <laughs> and stay alone. So we did Zoom. Yeah, we just had a Zoom Christmas this morning. But wait, let's talk about Christmas Eve first. Oh, Christmas Eve. First of all, he worked on Christmas Eve and got yelled at mm -hmm. by customers. So let me just start by saying, don't do that if you ever do that. Like, I'm sorry for those of you that work in retail or at grocery stores during the holidays because mm -hmm. y'all just, I'm sorry. He works at a banking institution mm -hmm. and literally somebody blamed you. What did you, what was it? Lady was mad that she wasn't able to get a loan and she looked at me and told me that it was my fault that her kids were going to wake up today or the next day without Christmas presents. He, he texted me that and I'm just like, isn't it her fault for A, waiting until Christmas Eve to go shopping in the first place and then B, not paying her bill on time so she couldn't get another loan? Mm -hmm. Like, is that not her fault? But no, she needed to make him feel like he ruined a kid's Christmas. She's like, I hope you can't sleep tonight. I said, I'm going to sleep fine. <laughs> I'm not the one who has to explain to my kids that they don't have presents because mommy doesn't know how to pay her bill. <laughs> so you know things happen yeah. and i'm sure if she was nice you could have worked with her a little bit i would have tried to do something and there i mean there's not a lot nice. that i could do but honestly though if there was something i could do probably still wouldn't have because you were mean yeah. when you cuss me out what is the phrase you get more you you get more bees with honey not vinegar why would you want bees first of all and why would you i don't think honey attracts bees does it i don't know Honey attracts flies. Mm, we don't want those. Maybe it's that you're catching flies with honey, not vinegar. Although if you put, vin never mind. You mm. actually do catch flies with vinegar, <laughs> but that's fine. But no, like any in anything, if you want something or if you're needing something, be nice to the person that stands between you and getting that. Because yeah. if there is anything they can do, they're going to be more than willing to do it. But if you're rude and nasty to them, I'm, uh, I must have not thought about it. <laughs> I <laughs> just assume that any of our viewers is a good person mm -hmm. like if you are part of our fam then you're probably a sweet sweet person who would never ever do that or maybe you do work retail or banking or something or grocery store and people do treat you like this and i'm here to say i'm so sorry mm -hmm. that people treat you like that and i will fight them i offered to come and fight her i was just like do you want me to come <laughs> down there and give her like a verbal lashing because i'll do it i'm going to teach you guys something that years of uh customer service has taught me 
since though even though we digressed off of the Christmas, but here we go. Ready? This is the customer service face when someone's being an idiot. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> I do it all the time when people are being idiots. I'm just like, I do it to I do it to our roommate all the time. He does. <laughs> he be talking. I just like. <laughs> he really does. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm literally just staring through them. <laughs> I blame the military for teaching me that. <laughs> oh my gosh. But no. But um, yeah. Um. So my my Christmas Eve started off really crap. And I felt really really bad. My Christmas Eve starting off with something happening in the house, and I had to clean the entire kitchen, living room, dining room, and foyer floor. Mm -hmm. So I was. I was mad, but mm -hmm. it's fine. It got all clean and everything's good. Mm -hmm. And then when he got home, I was like, all right, that's it. It's Christmas Eve. Let's have some fun. And then our power went out. We were sitting no, on the No, that's not the no. first thing that happened. The first thing that happened is we tried to go out and look at lights. And then a hurricane happened. Oh, yeah. The wind was crazy. We couldn't see any Christmas lights because the rain was so thick. And then we get home and we're like, I guess we'll just sit at home. Let's put on the Yule log. Let's just have Christmas. We were just talking on the couch, just having like da 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 da, -da. And all of a sudden it was like, and we were like. And it's funny is <laughs> if you look at Jen's social media, um, there's a picture of the fireplace where she had two candles going. Yeah, and we had, and these, we fake had these fake candles, candles in the, in the fireplace. fireplace. Yeah, and uh, so it, all of a sudden it was just dark except for that. And it was just like. Merry Christmas. Santa's coming. Is this, is this how he comes? He, maybe he's like like the guys from Leverage. They have to shut all the power off first before they can sneak in. He's just, he was ready. He was like, boom. And as soon as it comes on, <laughs> cannons blowing confetti everywhere, and Santa runs in like, I have presents. Ha, ha, ha. Wait, <laughs> ho, ho, ho. There we go. Right, maybe he's like that. So. But, no. Yeah, that happened. We lost power. For about uh, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Yeah. And then it came back, and we're like, okay, yay. And then... We ended up just playing a video game. Mm -hmm. we, we threw a movie on and just played some video game. Yeah. And uh, um, before that, though, we also had, Jen had her first experience of Buckeyes. I did. I tasted my first Buckeye, which apparently is a, like, peanut butter ball with, like, chocolate around it mm -hmm. never ever heard of it before but one of our friends and uh fellow dancers in noise complaint and rhythm theory mm -hmm. uh he made us some buckeyes so yeah, him and his mom made them for us and, yeah uh, and for uh, anyone who's concerned because some of you guys know i have a peanut allergy they were sun butter so I'm they totally made sure fine. that they were all allergen free so yeah gluten-free vegan yeah and, so I was totally cool. So my tongue is not swollen. If I sound funny, it's because my lips are so chapped I cannot feel them. Because we've gone through, <laughs> we did a 5K this morning. We and did. Then we just did we walked walk a 5K outside. and then we just did a little walk outside till I got too cold and said, nah, let's go home and film <laughs> stuff. So. so yeah, that was our night, and then we played we played some video game for a little bit, and then uh, we went live we went on live, Instagram yeah. to talk to a couple of our friends, and make sure they were okay, and mm -hmm. more people showed up than I expected. Oh yeah, at like eleven midnight. Yeah, it was like midnight, <laughs> and all of a sudden we're on, and all of a sudden it's like ding 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 ding. We're, we're like, like, oh hello friends. They're like hello, and then the the kid who made the uh, um, uh, Buckeyes. Buckeyes, he one in one of the group messages, Alex messaged and woke him up. And he was and like, he I was, was like, asleep. He was like, I was and asleep. And we're like, you didn't have to come into the live and go back to bed. But he was like, I'm just saying hi. That's so. our buddy, so. So that was our Christmas mm -hmm. Eve. And then we woke up this morning, walked to 5K. Mm -hmm. And then we actually opened up gifts with my mom and my brother mm -hmm. on Zoom, which honestly felt almost like being there. Mm -hmm. So for anyone that was like, Zoom's not the same, it kind of almost was. It was, it was a very nice replacement. I felt like I was there. I really did. And, you know, even, it was like, I, I got all the good parts of it, but we didn't have to travel, and I could still be with my cats. So, and the best part was that my mom and brother were home with their cat, mm -hmm. and we were home with our cats, and so we all got to give our cats presents. And we all got presents from our cats. <laughs> yes, it's true. He, he, I didn't get one. I didn't get a present from the cats. Yeah, they only did. like you. I thought they... Oh, no, they did. Mm. Bad. Well, kids. then. No, um... They the, used your credit card. They man. did. Um, we, we ended up giving the cats toys and really, really soft plush blankets. And they you love got, that. You got, we got them a sleeping bag. Oh, yeah, like a little sleeping bag for Sayuri because she likes to burrow in things. Mm -hmm. So she's really, really happy with it. I'm, I'm excited. At first, she was scared of it, but... Then she started purring the minute she touched it, and she started doing that stuff. So we're like, yeah. 
So that was really cool. And it was it was really nice because you know it wasn't it wasn't the same. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But it was a really good thing. It felt good. What sucked the most, I think, was that Andy and Mom went out to lunch right after, and we couldn't go. So we ended up just making like chicken sandwiches at home. And that's a normal chicken. routine that we do every year with them. Yeah, we always uh, Christmas Day tradition with my family is we go to the casino. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother loves the casino. Uh, he doesn't. He's not like a s crazy too much gambler I promise hey, he, just, he enjoys playing some of the games for a little yeah, bit yeah he, he plays some games and he likes to hang out and he the restaurants are delicious mm -hmm. and so it's been a thing for us to go to the casino also if the camera shakes like that that's bento I'm sorry yeah he just um. played right here he was like hi I see you guys are doing something I would like to be pet yeah so um, we would always go to this Jewish deli on Christmas and it was it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Baby, you're just ruining everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, they have the best bagels ever, and they have matzo ball soup. Mm -hmm. And it's not vegan, so since going vegan, I haven't been able to have it. But my mom makes a great matzo ball soup. Um, they have pickles. Mm, their pickles are so oh, good. Unlimited pickles, and we just love it. Bye, Bento. Nice to see you for a minute. <laughs> yeah, their pickles are really good. Um, a couple years ago, before I was vegan, I had the, was it pastrami? Yeah. And I also had the corned beef hash, which was amazing. I yeah. like, I'm very funny about corned beef hash, and I found a place it's that It's because really Jewish good. delis do it right. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. If you want a pastrami sandwich or some corned beef hash, you go to a Jewish deli, all right? It was so good. And we love this place, but, you know, Andy and Mom are at the casino today having fun, and we're not, and it sucks. But we're going to try to make our own fun by yeah. hanging out with you guys, by filming videos, and playing some more video games, yeah. maybe. Throw another fun <laughs> movie on. Yeah. Um, so what was your favorite present of this morning? Mm. We usually, I don't like talking about presents. Um, I don't like, like, listing all the stuff that we got, because that, that can make people feel really bad, like, if they didn't get that. But I do like to ask, like, what was your favorite present think, of the day? I think my favorite one is, because it definitely encourages my art, is the, uh, the iPad pen that you got me. I got him a knockoff Apple pen. <laughs> I can't afford like a whole Apple pad, like a real one. It's like a hundred bucks, but I found one for 20. Mm -hmm. So, so we're going to set that up, but I'm really excited about that. But if we're going to talk about my second favorite, somebody got me Bob Ross playing cards. Those are your favorite. I thought it would uh, be the hatchet. I love the hatchet too. Okay. She got me this like zombie slayer hatchet thing. A real hatchet. Yeah. He loves sharp things. Yes. I love sharp. I love, nice. I love sharp objects, but, uh, um, <laughs> which is funny coming from the guy who was dubbed safety scissors. But yeah, right. <laughs> that's why. But no, um, I, the hatchet's amazing. It's something that I've wanted forever, and I love the look of it and the concept. But I, I also really love playing cards. I love different and weird playing cards, like mm -hmm. different designs and stuff. It's something I, I've always loved. Do you want to go get them? Yeah, right back. Them? Okay, I'll talking. I'll tell you guys about my favorite present while he's doing that. What's your um, favorite present, Danny? My favorite present of today, I didn't even think this one through, that's actually kind of hard. But I, I, he got me this, this hoodie, and it says something so beautiful on it. It's like uh, flowers that get stamped on still, or will grow back just like, just like we do or something. Like, it says some, yeah, something like... Oh, yeah, like, flowers that get stamped on grow back and so will I. Yeah, or something, something like, like that. that. It's, and it's just a really, really comfy, fits me perfectly white hoodie. And I just, I love it. It's my favorite. But from my brother, I got this speaker. And it said extra bass on it. And I'm like, oh, yes. Um, I needed a new speaker for my uh, t tutorials. Mm -hmm. and Because mine kind of blew. My sound's been kind of like a little bit, but he got me a new speaker and I'm so excited about it. The sound is so clear. Mm -hmm. It's very Ugh. clear. So we, aside from, you know, we've already hooked it up. So the hoodie and then the speaker were my favorite things. My brother always helps me with things I need. He's mm -hmm. so good at that. He always says, what do you need for your tap dance? He is so supportive mm -hmm. of me being this crazy artist and I couldn't be more thankful my both everyone in my family is super mm -hmm. supportive of it so he always like i think one year he got me headset mics for us for the stage mm -hmm. and we need to get two new receivers because they kind of caught fire yeah last year one uh and then one year he got us the big speaker yeah he got us a huge speaker and then one year he got last year he got one year lights he, oh yeah. he got us lights one year he got her a life-size ultron cutout he that did. wasn't that wasn't anything that we needed but. yeah no but i needed it <laughs> 
He's actually featured in the Thanos video, mm -hmm. so on my other channel. All right, he's got the cards. These are playing cards in the shape of Bob Ross's head. And on the back, it has uh, actual paintings of his with quotes. Mm -hmm. And there's a different quote for every single one. This one says, And that may be the true joy of painting when you share it with other people. I really believe that's the true joy. And like, literally, all 52 cards have a different phrase. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen one that's repeated. It's amazing. I found them at like, I think it was Kohl's. <laughs> mm -hmm. But these are absolutely amazing. They're, they're different to hold because they're, you know, in the shape of Bob Ross' head. He was a curly-haired man, yeah. so... <laughs> he had the very curly, curly hair. And then the backs. So cool. Sorry. So guys. cool. But yeah. And I absolutely love these. Like I said, I am a huge fan of playing cards. Mm -hmm. a, I used to do magic for a living, so I've always been a big fan of playing cards. But Those would be I, hard to do magic with. Oh, yeah, they would be. Mm -hmm. Very hard to force or do any type of lift. But, uh... Um, I'm I'm very big into playing cards and so if you know you guys ever come across really cool ones make sure you take a picture and send me it uh, that will let me, way I know I will love looking at cool playing cards <laughs> also while filming this my mom just texted me and said something about Zeus and Kronos cool. which are two slot machines at the casino that she knows that we love watching them play and now I'm really upset that we're not there <laughs> the Kronos one he goes Kronos! And it's and like, oh, that means something good's happening. Look, Andy cleans up on that machine. I have seen him win hundreds of dollars on that machine. Mm. It's awesome. But so. yeah, I absolutely love these, and I love I love everything I got this week. Uh, this, this week. Today. Well, I mean, Hanukkah, too. Mm -hmm. we, had, we had Hanukkah gifts that we gave each other, and you said that you had a favorite Hanukkah gift. You wore it today? Uh, uh, what did I wear today? Oh! Jen got me a bunch of beanies. Another thing I love is beanies. Beanies. He <laughs> loves beanies. But she got me one that has like a camera on it. And she got me one that has a alien eating pizza. And one with a hand that's like this. He goes pew pew. <laughs> I love them. I absolutely love beanies because they're comfy and they keep my ears these warm. He got me a pop filter mm -hmm. for a microphone. That was the, the Hanukkah present that I loved the most. Mm -hmm. uh, something that I can use. I love useful things. Um, and I... Other things too, but um, yeah, a pop filter. Mm -hmm. So the next song I record is going to sound even better. Even better. Yeah. So. But yeah, I've I absolutely I I was I was worried about this year because it was different and it wasn't exactly what we had both wanted or planned. But due to one thing or another, we did what we felt and we know was right. Was it worth keep, it? Yes. Yeah, I agree. To know that we did everything we could to keep our family safe, that, I hate saying it this way, but knowing that if something does happen, it wasn't something that I did yeah. to cause it. I, I couldn't live with it. Yeah. I absolutely couldn't live with it. Yeah. So. So I have, so far, had an amazing yeah. Christmas. It's, what, two? Sorry, the cast just knocked something over. Who knows? It's like two now, 2.30. 2.15. And so far, I'm having an amazing Christmas. We're going to hang out with my family in a little while on Zoom, and then later it's, on, we're having... It's been a different dynamic, mm -hmm. just being us mm -hmm. today. It's, it's just like, it's lonely on one hand, because you don't have a whole bunch of family. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, we can do whatever we want. We could film today. I've never been able to film on Christmas. Also... Alex is currently down south with his family, so it's even quieter. I know, house. and I love Alex. Don't get me wrong, but like, mm. sometimes you're like, little brother, leave. Yeah, <laughs> just a bit. no. I mean, no. he's we we absolutely love him, but you know what I mean. Like, some alone time is yeah. kind of nice. Tomorrow we morning, get alone time. Tomorrow morning, we'll miss him, and then we'll see him tomorrow night, and then we'll be like, oh yeah. It's no right Sunday, he's not coming back oh, till Sunday. I keep thinking tomorrow Sunday. Oh, I'm nope. off a day. You have I to have work to, tomorrow. Have to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's my filming day for my other channel, so I'll just be filming top dance stuff all day. What are we doing tomorrow morning? Oh, oh, okay. So tomorrow morning is my other favorite holiday of the year. Tomorrow's December 26th. We will be going to Walmart the minute that they open, probably even an hour before they open. We need to bundle up. It's going to be freezing. Mm -hmm. um, Hopefully that deters a lot of people. And I go by the 50% off stuff. Mm-hmm. So, not necessarily I've like saved the up Christmas for this. stuff, but not like, not Christmas stuff. Although we were talking about getting some better lights, because our mm -hmm. Christmas lights this year were trash. But if we don't, whatever, we'll just have trash Christmas lights again next year. I like our trash Christmas lights. Sure. Um, <laughs> 
So we were thinking about getting that, but what we go for is like the gift sets, like stuff that we use all year. Mm -hmm. Shampoo, lotions, conditioners, mm -hmm. razors, yeah. shaving cream, um, hot sauce. Because mm -hmm. we've yeah. gotten hot sauce for coffee. Mm -hmm. Things that we would normally buy that we can get dirt cheap because it's in a gift set. And it was a good price anyway. Like the coffee gift set, it's like a bunch of different flavors of coffee for $10. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of coffee. I think each one is like at least four cups of coffee, mm -hmm. maybe three. And you get 12 of them. So we're going to get that for $5 tomorrow. It's six bottles of hot sauce that you get for $12.99. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But now tomorrow it'll be... Six ninety nine mm -hmm. or six fifty or something. Also, the uh, a lot of the DVDs that they had on sale for Black Friday are now going to be even half off of that. Sorry, Sayuri's having a sneeze fit. <laughs> but yeah, because <laughs> was it last year we bought like we bought a ten few. or fifteen DVDs. I'm trying not to spend money on stuff we don't need mm -hmm. this year. Um, I did budget a little bit for fifty percent off Hanukkah stuff because I didn't, and a Nutcracker. I I have to buy a Nutcracker because I didn't get one from the actual ballet this year. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I really just want to focus on things we normally drink or eat, like coffee, maybe some teas, uh, mm -hmm. some cookie mixes would be nice mm -hmm. just to have some more cookies, um, shampoo, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So, but it's my favorite day because I just get to go and like buy all the cheap stuff. Now, I haven't been to the store in a long time because I live in an area where CDC protocols are not exactly followed, so I haven't felt very safe going to the store. Um, but I will brave it tomorrow and I'll wear two masks and <laughs> I don't know what I have to do. I'll just bring myself in a bubble. but. I will be as safe as possible mm -hmm. doing this tomorrow. And if at any point I don't feel safe, we'll just leave and I'll just not. Mm -hmm. At least we know what we're looking for. Yeah. So we'll just go directly for there, get that and take off. Yeah. Although I haven't set foot in Walmart since March. Yeah. No lie. I have not been in Walmart since March. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> so anyway, that's been our Christmas at home alone. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to use our Jen and Sean's excellent adventure. Um, vlog to talk about that mm -hmm. we have one more thing actually we need to tell you oh. my mom got us a really cool gift she got us matching t-shirts mm -hmm. that say be excellent to each other and it's got the silhouette of bill and ted yep so we already took in engagement photos mm -hmm. and uh we're gonna take some more in those <laughs> and then those will actually come out when he has time to edit yeah. <laughs> but there so, yeah. uh, it's really cool that she got those for us so. yeah it was so cool <laughs> But I've, I'm having a blast so far. And, and it's not over yet. Yeah, it's barely even halfway done. Mm. I think we're going to film one more vlog. I'm only saying that because you'll see the same exact sweater, same exact shirt. But yeah, we'll probably film one more vlog, play some video games, and then sit around a fire with my mom and brother tonight and talk to your family on Zoom. Sounds like or a plan. FaceTime, whatever. Yeah. But thanks for hanging out with us. We hope you guys had an amazing Christmas or yeah. holiday. Or even if you didn't celebrate, I hope you had an amazing Friday. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hope that you've had an amazing holiday mm -hmm. so far. And the holidays aren't over yet because we still have to turn this wretched 2020 of a year into 2021 and hope that things get better. <laughs> but also in the comments below, let us know something that you like or that you got that you loved or that you that you got for somebody that you loved. Or just something that you're grateful for mm -hmm. this holiday. Just yeah. let us know. Talk to us. Or how you guys celebrated your um, Christmas safe. I want to tell them about one more gift. Huh? What? One of our friends that we met through YouTube mm -hmm. actually sent oh, us a yeah. Christmas card. And with that Christmas card was, first of all, a really, really cool print of his art. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it's the, who is it? It's the monster. The Muppet. The mo monster. Uh, what's his name? Uh, is it monster? Is it? I don't it's, know. It's the Muppet the one, that drums. Yeah. I forget his name, but I love that picture. And he sent us that, but he handmade a plaque hand-painted that says noise complaint it's the noise complaint logo it's the actual noise complaint logo and the noise complaint font mm -hmm. and i i teared up a little mm -hmm. bit it was just the sweetest thing i love it so much and i can't wait to like just put it up and i can't wait to show the company mm -hmm. when we finally come back to rehearsal i'm gonna be like look, look at this so i just i wanted to give a thank you to mm -hmm. james for mm -hmm. that so thank you so much we absolutely loved it and i love the pen and i know that you love the uh 
Janeway that you got with it. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's wonderful. Thank you so much. So, anyway, so that was really sweet of you. <laughs> we really appreciate it. But uh, keep doing your uh, your photos with that. That's really cool. Yeah, and we'll we'll touch on the keep doing mm -hmm. thing uh, in our New Year's vlog. So we're gonna put one out for that too. The and a good focus of that is gonna be keep doing mm -hmm. or start doing and stuff like that. So yeah, well, I so, had fun. I had fun. So, thanks for vlogging with us today. It's been a blast hanging out with you guys. Once again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Friday. Yeah. So, I'm Chief Running Mouth. And you need new hand symbol every time. He still does this. And I'm Captain Genway. Oh, she almost she almost. <laughs> I was like, duct tape? Nah, it's a hard. <laughs> and we are out of here. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>